He got some range, which is good. Well, that's pretty graphic. Ooh, got enough tattoos. I like this song. I always listen to this on my radio. It's really mellow. I like the gravel tone of his voice. Trying to determine the language that he's speaking. I like the beat. I definitely like the beat. I like the beat. Well, I like the melody. Is this a post-apocalyptic, post-modern kind of Mad Max world? I like his song. I know him. I don't know him, but I know the song. There was something about the groove that was dreamy. The music was just kind of sleepy. There was no joy, no enthusiasm at all. Yeah, you can move to it a little bit. He's pretty good. I really like him. This guy's definitely got a real good voice. What a beautiful voice. What a dreamy groove. They got his voice and a lot of echo, uh, whatever. It's not too loud and one of those too fast that have no idea what they sing. I don't really understand this one. And you know me, you're my two threes and my gold teeth. But you're smiling, but you see me from the nosebleed. I don't like the teeth. What a grill. I'm the new three and I change out to my new D. I don't really understand the message yet. The visuals, I'm, I'm trying to sort them out and match them with the, uh, with the music, and it's not making any sense. He doesn't sound like a hardcore rapper, you know what I'm saying? But he sounds like a rapper. It's like hip-hop with a little bit of reggae mixed in there. He's an artist. My mama calls, see you on TV. Sunset shit done changed ever since we was on. I dreamed it all ever since I was young. They said I will not be nothing. Not okay, they're doctoring up some ideas. <laughs> uh, been there, done that. Anyway, um... That's a bad example, smoking. There's confetti in the video, and I love it anytime there's confetti. That was never friendly, yeah. Now I'm jumping out of band, yeah. And I know I sound dramatic. He got some range, I I to have it. which is good. Yeah, it's got a little bit of a reggae thing going, a little reggae beat. Big rings. Woo! Big rings. Champagne. I like those things too. And lots of confetti. Super Bowl. Super Bowl. Caught a hoes. Get in the world. Top flow lifestyle. The only thing is they're still talking about the same thing, having money and jewelry. Boring. Still a good beat. <laughs> Don't get it, but I like the beat. He has his own unique groove. He's He does have a, a bit of a different vibe, a bit of a different style. I've been hoes and popping pillies, man, I feel just like a rock star. Ah, this I know. Just like a rock star. That's what I know this one. All my brothers got that gas and they always be smoking like a rock star. Now, doesn't he look nice? He looks presentable. Yeah, I like this one. Oh, be careful. Don't get hurt and don't get dirty. Oh, oh, hold it. Yeah, that's a little disturbing. Blood coming out all over the place. These videos are beautiful. Well, that's pretty graphic. They make good videos. It's good. It's a little gross. Wow. That was intense. Did that have something to do with the song? <laughs>
I got a Kill Bill version in there, and it's like, okay, how many more do I have to watch? Well, this artist recently released his second studio album, mm -hmm. Beer Bongs and Bentleys. Beer Bongs and what? I'm buying it on the name alone. So this next song, Better Now, is off that album as well. As of this episode, Spotify reports that the song is currently the most played track in the U.S., but there's only audio, so we're going to play it for you now. Oh, all right. Now I'm real curious who that, what the heck their name is. You probably think that you are better now. Better Beer Bongs and Bentleys. Feel the dynamics in his voice. Nothing exciting. I see you with your other dude. Okay, so she left you and you're whining. He was pretty cool. I was so broken over you. He's singing a story about what can you do? Breaking up. I like this. That's way better than all the rest. Because it told the story. He's good. He's really, really good. I have to admit it. Thumbs up. And, and I don't mind also to uh, my kid, you know, listen to that kind of music. Lyrically, told more of a story that wasn't so dark. Musically, the guy's got a great voice. Okay, so that was 22-year-old Post Malone. 22, wow. Whose latest album was streamed over 78 million times in just one day. Unbelievable. We show you a lot of rap on this channel. Mm -hmm. Did Post Malone's music stand out to you from other rap artists you've seen? Well, to me, I didn't even think of him as that category, the rapper, because uh, it's, it's almost like a melody type of song. It didn't stand out from anything. They're all about the same. The words, the beat, the rhythm. He's kind of mix of a lot of things. He can do a little bit of uh, rap-like songs and singer. He's a good singer. I like him. It's hard to say he's a rap artist for me from what I saw. I wouldn't say, I'd say he's He's definitely a cross between hip hop and reggae. So Post Malone initially found success when music bloggers started to pick up his independently released song, White Iverson, that we showed you. Uh -huh. After that music video hit a million views in one month, record labels started taking interest in him. A few of the artists we've previously covered on the show have blown up independently online before signing record deals. So it seems like because of the internet, the general public has more of a say in the type of music record labels produce and release. Do you like this? Or do you think we should leave things more as they were when you were growing up, where record labels decided more about things they thought were best? You no, know, I like this better because they have more control, especially over their money. Because in the past, a lot of artists, which is so sad, got really ripped off. Things are changing now. I don't even know if record labels have a whole lot of hand in anything. Remember our pal Justin Bieber? The Biebs! It's because of YouTube that he got his shot. There's opportunity to be seized. You don't have to wait for someone to come to your club where you're performing or to hear or know somebody who knows somebody who you can get an audition for. Long ago, the radio stations were, were the internet. That's where you went to listen to things. So it's kind of it's kind of the same. The medium has changed, but the the, the effect of the results have not changed. Record labels are going to recognize anything that is they can see is popular, whether they view it on the internet, they read it in a headline, a in a newspaper, or they hear a kid yodeling at a department store. So finally, with the release of his sophomore album coming out recently, do you think you're gonna tell your friends about this album or is this the last time you'll speak about Post Malone? I'm done. <laughs> well, I think I'll mention it to my, my son and daughter-in-law, just love that genre of reggae and hip hop. This guy's good, I'm curious to see what direction he goes in. I wouldn't go out and tout it as great. I don't think I'll be promoting him and talking about him. Just not my, uh, my cup of tea. My two grandsons are like my brothers now. And I talk to them about this type of music. They'll probably tell me about that. <laughs> I think I will. I just have to show my friends my age that, hey, I know who that is. No, I can't go there. No, I wouldn't. There's no, it doesn't do anything for me. Definitely, I'm going to tell my daughter about it. Um, she might already know that already. But, you know, I think he's, he's a good conversation and also a binding thing for me. I most definitely would be more than delighted to tell people about Post Malone, whether he's a musician, an artist, a rapper, or any other kind of a guy, he's obviously an incredibly talented guy, and I'm fascinated. Thanks for watching Elders React, and shout out to Cutie Dolphin. What should we react to next? Let us know in the comments. 
and a shout out to Mark Forbes. Bye. Hey guys, Virtue here, producer at FBE. Thanks so much for watching this episode of Elders React. Make sure to subscribe to this channel and also subscribe to the React channel to see the reactors gaming, competing, and so much more. Bye guys.